So today I'm going to make a potato casserole and show you what I eat when I am lazy and want comfort food. Yeah, I'm always lazy. Why, why did I specify that? I don't know. Well, Alright, so here I have some garlic and onions that have been cooking in some oil for a little while. And I already have some mashed potatoes made up. You can make them however you want, it doesn't really matter. But I have them pre-made because you're going to need them pre-made for this recipe. So once you have this cooked up, that's pretty much all you have to cook besides the potatoes. So turn your stove off. And you're just going to pour the, all of the onions and everything into your potatoes. If you have other vegetables like spinach or something you want to add, you can do that too. But I'm going to do a simple one today because that's what I have. So you're going to stir this all into your potatoes. It should be a fairly thick mass. And once you have it all stirred in, you can also add corn, which is something I'm probably going to add into this. But for right now, I'm going to add cheese. And you're going to want to add a good amount of cheese probably at least one good handful of cheese. Any cheese you like is fine. I'm just going with plain shredded cheese. And stir that in. You want to make sure it's a good mix. You don't want to have big old pockets of cheese and then have no cheese anywhere else. So make it all mixed in. And then after you have the cheese all mixed in, I'm also going to add in some sour cream. You can also put cream cheese in this, but I'm going to not do that today because, I don't know, I just don't want to. So I'm actually going to use this spatula and just put out maybe a fourth of a cup of cream cheese. This is also kind of like making a loaded mashed potatoes, so if you want to make loaded mashed potatoes and then just do this with it, you can do that. So stir that all in, get it all mixed up, and once you have everything together, you're going to put it into a casserole dish. This is mine. And you're going to put it in the oven at 350 for 20 or so minutes. Uh, you can put cheese on top of it to make a crust, and then the casserole is basically done when the cheese on top is all melted and crispy. It's pretty simple. I decided to also fry up some seitan in a pan with some oil to add into the potatoes. That's basically what it looks like when it's done. You can cook it for longer if you want, but it doesn't really matter. It's all based on how you want it, and um, yeah.